So welcome back everyone, today this is a ranked battle and I'm playing the Chon Mattel. Now actually this was not, I repeat, this was not the replay I want to show you, but man I do have a problem about, I uh, only have this 30, the last 30 battles, I do have no idea how to change it, so I have all the replays, you know what I mean? So it's, you know, not just the latest 30 battles, I want to have like latest 100 battles or so, because I, I had an awesome replay, also rank season, that I did crazy good in that battle, and uh, definitely showing you the potential of this ship, the Chalmatel. Now, this is rank season, and I, I believe it's rank 10, something, something like that. There's a aircraft carrier, and you may, you may argue that you don't have the best uh, AA, you don't have uh, the best tools, you have no radar, you have A defense, and you do have the spotter plane or fighters. On the other hand, that salvo was for my baseball. I did, did not pay attention that I'm so damn close. Now I do, I do have uh, <laughs> this is how small this ship is versus the baseball. So now you can definitely see that it's kind of high in the water. Uh, on the other hand, the length, how large uh, from A to B or from port to side, um, it's it's definitely a smaller ship than, let's say, a Bismarck. After all, you're only a small cruiser. Uh, but you are getting there. I do believe with the speed boost that I just popped the speed boost. You see, this is the reason you don't open fire. Just one and two and three and four and five ships aiming at you. So if I would open fire right now, I would be that all if carrier would spot me and there's two mains on the enemy team and there's one rich Richelieu monarch and um, Alabama we're definitely gonna talk about Alabama uh, because Alabama it's over there and the truth is now they are very strong um, uh, force enemy force or going for the alpha I'm open fire ver versus this uh, mains he's very wise and turning away and he's disengaged on but I still hit him for 3600 and uh, four shells of my nine uh, the shells are pretty fantastic in that regard sometimes orangey blaze place you with very tight shells and sometimes are all over the place but I, overall I like to say you don't have the flat or okay now I, I was scared there's uh, someone aiming at me and there is Alabama's aiming normally places you think that I am dead right now really darn dead but I popped this uh, speed down and I took one hit but that hit caused around 3000 damage and the next one only 1300 damage and I put him on a fire I gave him 3600 so I, I don't know if there was a space or, or what the heck it was I was lucky that I only received so far guys around oh, 6000 damage something with the Alabama's guns and his open fire versus something else <laughs> and yeah that is the the friendly Prince Eugen who received huge amount of hit I do believe he's a half of his HP pool on the other hand behind me there's a Bismarck and Lenin and behind oh that's that's all was for me but it wasn't the case you see if you turn left and right your pretty maneuverable ship and there's two ships aiming at me right now two ships and I show you perfect broadside Zera what kind of replay is this well well, I'm disengaged, so th that's the thing. Uh, you see, that shell was for Monarch, was not even the same post coast, it never hit me. And of course, the downside is that you ha I have AA defense on right now, and I have spotter planes. And you're gonna definitely see how strong the s fighters are in this ship. Alabama overextend, I do believe that even though he crippled the Prince Eugen, he very wise, he disengaging, and he's still receiving damage, don't get me wrong. Prince Eugen it's a good, but he has heal, so he can heal something back, not a whole lot. You know, I was very lucky. And I believe that this salvo might be the final blow for the Alabama, because with 17% to put your enemy on fire, it's pretty fantastic. And maybe i'm just saying maybe the final blow it will be very soon when okay i'm disengaging behind the other nobody see him i hit him for 751 
uh, damage. I do believe he's healing back the Alabama captain. The CV is nearby, guys, definitely. But I'm not alone. The Prince Eugen has not bad AA. So combined AA to slow down close uh, cruiser are kind of a safe versus tier 8 uh, carriers. I repeat, with this two extremely close CV, it's kind of a uh, safe. I can finish the Alabama. He put the heal on. There's someone on this side who's trying to flank us, trying to kill us. We are behind the island. And I put the enemy Alabama on fire. And goodbye, Alabama. That's my first frag. And I kill him. Now I have to stop because the enemy who went extremely easy on Alpha, they are going to Bravo. But the thing is. Uh, North Carolina is try trying to defend and Chicago and me also turning back from this island. I am spotted and I'm trying to... Yes, you heard me right. That two salvo for the monarch instantly put him on fire. But can we get a second fire? That's the one million dollar question. Uh, 3600 damage, he still have one fire. It will be real nice. I'm talking about real darn nice if we can have the second fire. Oh my lord, that was a 4000 damage and additional fire. So you see of my 9 guns, 9 hit the target. 5, sorry. 5 hit the target and 1 fire. So 4 fires right now guys and we have 1 kill. And this is also the potential about the AA. Prince Eugen is doing the, the, the most of the AA uh, work. And shut down several planes however I did help a little, little bit and this one I do believe that the entire friendly team is aiming to this uh, which he's he's on the wrong place the wrong wrong place uh, it's good for us because we tame the tide now the enemy control Alpha and they control uh, Charlie however that was three planes down because of my fighter. My fighters actually did the whole great job and took out the entire enemy squad. That was my fighter. Not because you have them uh, crazy good AA because I uh, shot, shot down t 10 planes. However, my fighter did the most of the work. I would like to say that you have a mediocre AA. However, when you press the O in reinforcement and with your uh, fighter plane, you do have some personal cover. Um, you're definitely not a Tallinn, you're not a uh, Kutuzov, which they do have the best AA tier for tier dust. But you see, they hit pretty damn hard the AP and H. Those two salvo was definitely with the AP. And now he's angled. And that was a round ricochet, but what I'm trying to say, he was a little bit uh, turning away and he's trying to disengage. You kind of need a lot of lead, you know, you don't have the super flat Soviet 950 meters per second. So probably in that it's, uh, shall I say, a uh, challenge to aim well and give another lead. And figure out where the enemy are 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 moving, which speed. And right now, I, I kind of forgot that this Richelieu has speed boost, and he is selling like a madman, like a race car. That I did not, so I have to give a lot, a lot, lot more lead. Otherwise, that first salvo was not even the nearest damn postcode. But the second one that was way better i reset him and put him on fire and that's my fire number five i don't believe there is really will survive for longer even though i'm not taking the beating and that is my frag number two and at this stage guys the enemy screwed their one this bad it's just those two mains cruiser left which my lenin and shukako and my left bodies from prince eugen and bismarck they all survived we were sticking together and i believe guys even though they had extremely easy at the start to cap uh, alpha i do believe um, they are literally pretty down bad i using my the consumable the um, armament consumable which increase your uh, rate of fire by 50% and another fire because what the hell not and there's someone aiming at me but I don't know 
something is definitely wrong. He was aiming at me first, uh, and then he dis decided to go for someone else, like Prince Eugene. I do honestly believe they had a lot of maybe two or two and a half million potential damage. But I don't know why they're not shooting at me. Probably would they want to finish him off first, and they, yeah, I understand why they're shooting at him. And though they don't bother shooting me or the Lenny, which is kind of a weird. I kind of uh, mislead over here. Uh, once again, guys, the armor of Prince Eugene is not bad. The shells are fantastic. The AP are fantastic. On the other hand, I am much more maneuverable and more better concealment. And you have a better torpedo. And overall, I like, I like to say that Charles Mattel is not a bad ship. She's very good as long as you can adjust your aim and your playstyle and stick with your battleship after all you're only a support ship you're not a brawler so thank thanks guys for watching i did very much hoped and wanted to show you another replay which i perform much much better and much more damage and much more everything i will show you probably in next uh, opportunity that i play my charm until i will show you the potential of this very good looking french cruiser have a good one guys take care and bye